Yo guys, it's Deezer HD here, and I've finally broken up from school, and all of my coursework is finally in for every subject. I've had like 10 hours sleep in the past two days, so I'm knackered, I've been doing my work, which is why you shouldn't leave it till the last minute, really, but um, yeah, it's in now, it's all good, so now I should be able to be bringing out a lot more uh, content on my channel. Um, obviously I've still got work to do because I'm going into the exams uh, soon so I'll be doing that um, and I've still got a lot of work to do for those but I won't be as stressed because I'm going to try and stay on top of the work this uh, next term well it's not a term it's just a break but um, today is just a quick tip I'm not sure if you knew how to do it it's really simple but um, it can help quite a few of our few of you out and uh, improve your render times um, so in Cinema 4D I've got a basic setup set up um, some Grayscale Gorillas thing it's a, a three light pro product studio and um, if I just go into my project settings so with well, the actual settings for my Cinema 4D so if I go into my preferences right you can see renderer if I just uh, Turn those off. Right, this is my normal render. It's gonna do the um, the global illumination. Sorry, I'm really really tired. Um, it's gonna do the global illumination pass first, um, which takes about 30 seconds, 35 seconds probably. I'm not actually sure. Um, maybe not even that. I'll just wait for this to be done, and then we'll see how quickly it renders. And you can see how many squares I've got. I'm not sure if you can, but uh, I know I've got four on there. So it's going to take about 30, yep, 35 seconds, as I guess, 36. There we go. You can see it's rendering now with four squares only. And uh, some people with uh, quad core processors, dual core processors, don't actually know how to add more squares. Now, um, I'll show you how to do that. You can do Command E. And that will bring up your preferences for Cinema 4D. And uh, you can see we've got the renderer one here, but we don't need to go into Cineman because um, it doesn't use that. We just need to go into the renderer here. And uh, what you can see is it says custom number of render threads. Now, if you check that and you check adapt thread priority, you're going to get more squares and you can crank this right up uh, 256, that's how many threads are in the computer's uh, processor we can put it on one um, but the thing is I could crank mine up to 40 and I get loads of squares, I'll show you now if I render this out, look, look how many squares I've got now I've got many more squares and um, the global illumination isn't going to render any quicker um, because it's a global illumination pass and it just keeps does it doing the passes but um, you'll see when this is done in about 15 20 seconds probably um, the difference in the speed between the four squares I had um, and this one but adding more threads for use doesn't always make it quicker uh, you have to find the correct balance. You can just get a studio up like this and you can record the render times by um, using this render button here which will render it into picture viewer. Um, but don't choose a file path and you can just see how long each one's taken. But you can see now I've got many more squares as rendering uh, quite quickly. But you can see these squares are very small. They're about half the size of the other one. And I found that 15 is my is a good number for my machine. I'm just going to change uh, my global illumination so we don't have to wait for as long. Just put a um, minus four in there. It should be a lot quicker. Uh, okay, so there we go. I've got my global illumination. You can see here I've got less squares. I don't actually know if, it, if I save that. No, I didn't. Okay, if I put 15 in, sorry about that. Okay, now I hit uh, render. You can see here I've got less squares, but it's rendering quicker than I would if I had 40 uh, threads running. And that's because I found the correct balance, and 15 to 20 is about right for me. So I'm just uh, doing this video to tell you about this if you didn't know already. If you did, then fair enough, cool. Um, 
but it's just something to help you out and just to, to speed up your render times but like I said don't go for the highest number you can because it can freeze your computer you can lose your work um, obviously you always want to be saving anyway saving it as you go but, uh, just find the correct balance by using this button here it will take it into picture viewer and it will uh, if you drag this out here you can see the render time here and you can see the differences so you can see here I've got we'll wait for this one to be done and I'll show you the difference between this and 40 threads to just prove that it is sometimes quicker to have less right and let's go back into my view let's put up my settings and let's put this back up to 40 okay let's render it into picture viewer maybe this it could be quicker the other one took 19 seconds uh, this one looks probably about the same actually maybe even a little longer but yeah it's taken longer it's a second longer but a second if you're doing loads of projects um, a second per frame can add but if you're doing a lot of frames in your project so you've got a render queue on cinema 40 a second can add up and uh, you want to render as quick as you can and you can see the quality is no different it's just a second short but it's just about finding the right balance I mean if I was to go into my render settings and say put 25 in that could make it very quick it could make it just as quick um, I don't actually know but you can see here we've got smaller squares again but it looks like it's actually going to take longer than uh, 20 seconds it's already on 10 and it's not even done half yet so have a quick look at 25 it all depends on your machine don't just copy my settings so um, I've got an i5 quad core processor so that one took 20 seconds again but I've got a quad core i5 and a 15 seems fine for me it might be different on your PC because you might have um, it might be a bit different might your PC might be a bit more powerful than my computer I don't know but that was just a quick tip and um, every time you go into cinema 4d it will still be saved like that as your preferences and if you want it to just be your four squares or however many you have at the start you can just uncheck this and uh, and this one here and it will just uh, go back to normal so yeah I hope this video helped out guys and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next tutorial I'm not sure what it will be but I'll figure something out for you guys and uh, thank you very much and I'm also very happy to say that on my YouTube, if I show you now, on my video manager, I scroll down, here you can see my real flow cloth and hair, uh, at the moment it's been going up a thousand views a day which is amazing really, um, I can remember when this was on a hundred views and I was happy about that, it's on 20,000 now, I know the dislikes to likes aren't um, brilliant but I believe I'm guessing it's been disliked bocked but botted sorry bocked um, because if I view my comments there's not really anything to back up the dislikes and no one seems to be uh, hating anything about the video all the comments seem to be quite positive which is pretty good but um, dislike bots oh well it's getting me more views um, like Don said in his video if you haven't seen that go and watch it the links in the description below for that video uh, about Don's dislike bots and how they're actually good uh, he explains into it a lot more than me but uh, yeah check that out thank you for watching guys I'll see you very soon peace